So with Lightyear now in theaters, I thought this would be the perfect time to discuss something I've always wondered about Toy Story. And that is, why was Buzz able to fly at the end of the first Toy Story even though he's just a toy? Now I know they explain it as him just falling with style and just play it off as a joke, but really, how was he able to do that? Because realistically, a toy that heavy wouldn't be able to just glide so gracefully through the air like that. And that's not even the only time we see him do it either, he does it again in Toy Story 4. But in a universe where rats can cook and toys can come to life, it shouldn't be too hard to find an answer. And the answer answer I've come up with is also the same reason Carl's house was able to fly and up because again realistically you can't fly a house with balloons. Hello and welcome to another Pixar video. If you'd like to check out my channel I have plenty of other Pixar theories, reviews, and other content for you to watch. So if that interests you feel free to check it out. Anyway let's get into the video. So in order for Buzz to fly and Carl to lift his house with balloons there must be some source of energy. So let's just take a look at the city of Monstropolis. In a world where the earth has been depleted of all fossil fuels these monsters must rely on screams from children in order to power their city. But what they're really harvesting are the emotions. The emotions from inside out that control the thoughts and feelings in your head. We see many times throughout the Pixar universe people using their emotions and belief in something to make that thing actually happen. In Onward, Ian's belief in the bridge being there is what got him across. And yes, I know he was using magic, but magic comes from the elements in Pixar's upcoming Elemental. And everyone is made up of elements, which means to some extent everyone has magic within them. But that's besides the point. Another example is in Inside Out when Bing Bong and Joy use the power of song to make the rocket fly. So you might be wondering, why wasn't Buzz able to fly earlier in the film when he was fully believing he was a space ranger. And that's simply just because the wind also helped to lift him. Now to why Carl's house was able to fly and up, this is also the same explanation. With all those years of grief over Ellie's death, his dedication to get to Paradise Falls is what made the house lift off the ground. So essentially what you should take away from this video is that emotions are the ultimate source of power in the Pixar universe. While you're at it, why don't you go check out my spoiler free review on Lightyear. Thank you for watching and bye.